Hey folks, Adam Weaver here out in Scotch Lake, New Brunswick and uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of a farm tour. Um, so we've been here for about two years now, just going into it, well we, we're in our second season and uh, we have four acres here and we've got mo some of it is uh, part of an orchard and then the garden is actually uh, a space that is around what would you say three or four thousand square feet and there's a loads of uh, 50 foot rows and each 50 foot row is about three foot wide and that just allows you to access both sides quite easily you can kind of reach in and then the pathways that we have all along here are are 16 inches so that's fairly standard in the market gardening world we also practice no-till gardening so we don't well, we do a little bit of tilling uh, just to prep the beds, but really after that, uh, we don't do anything. We don't we don't till it after every crop. We just uh, we do plant succession, and we we do our best to sort of maintain all of the the beneficial microbes that are in the soil already. So there was a couple questions that I was to answer. The first question being, what is our best crop, or what is our favorite crop this year? And uh, I'd probably say that my favorite is a birdhouse gourd, which we can show you over here. Pasha's favorite is, Pasha is my partner, and her favorite is, what is it? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. The tomatoes are doing really well this year. Uh, they've exploded. We've got loads of fruit on the vines this year. And last year wasn't so good. And... We've been gardening probably for over a decade now, but this is really our, our first opportunity that we've had to like really do it on our own land, which is pretty sweet. Last year was more about observation, uh, whereas this year we're going full on. And because of COVID and everything, really we've been, we've been given a lot of opportunity to just spend a lot more time in the garden, which is great. But let me show you my favorite crop this year. I've never grown it before, and uh, and I'm super excited, but guess what, food for all New Brunswick, this is something that you, you don't really want to eat, or at least as far as I know, you can't eat it. It's called a gourd. Check it out. And a gourd is a relative, uh, it's in the cucurbit family, it's re related to like a squash, and, um, and you would basically that thing when it dries out it hollows out and then i'll i'll drill a hole into it and it'll be a nice little home for a birdhouse least successful crops this year probably we haven't had a whole lot of pressure from deer this year which has been great we've lost a few beans to to rabbits maybe and uh really our apples and our gooseberries and has caps the have cherry. not really done anywhere. And the cherries all did really poorly because we think uh, of the, the big dump of snow that came in, in mid to late May, wiped out all of the blossoms. So I think that might've done it for them. But usually last year we had so many apples, we didn't even know what to do with them all. This year we hardly have, we've only got two or three apple trees in production this year out of like 30. So that's not super great. So if you want, also share what's going on in your garden. We'd be, I think everyone would be happy to see uh, what they're doing to get some new ideas flowing. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about what's going on here. Happy to answer them anytime and uh, yeah, over and out.